Yeah, I was checking the accuracy of this uh, Zapper to CC2. And um, the scope is like, it's well, it's been calibrated, but it's not like a super pinpoint accurate scope by nature because it's analog. You got to count the increments and you have to set the, you know, the time. And I set it on uh, the two, the 0 0.2 millisecond scale. And I was counting the increments, it's just a hair under 6.9 increments counted. So, you know, I did the calculation. Yeah, it's 727. And, <coughs> excuse me, the um, first frequency is listed in this mode, uh, Rife mode number 4, 727. Now, I checked some other zappers, and, uh, for, you know, it's not like, well, it depends, because if you're looking for the frequency, the frequency does matter if you're looking for a certain thing to happen and this particular device has a lot of the common frequencies that have been used and been now they're, they're pretty much incorporated in every session like uh, 727, 7, um, 787, 800, 880 which is like Rife Mode 4 is in, pretty much always incorporated in almost every session that people use the pad type quote unquote Rife machines but if you're off the frequency it, it, it's not going to do uh, even what it may do how's that because it, say for instance that was actually coming up like 710 well it's not going to be anywhere even in a ballpark and even if you're off like 1% you're, that's wild, wildly off actually in a world of uh, trying to address microbes with frequencies so you know accuracy is everything and most of the zappers are way the hell off I've been checking them and I got the zappers and I'm like some are like you know depending on if it's in a lower range say it's around four or five hundred it might be off about 10 or 11 on frequency if it's around 2500 it's off like a a hundred on frequency. If it's around thirty thousand, it's off a thousand on frequency. And I'm like, man, oh man, oh man. So you know, I'm, you could have a generator like this, and that's going to be more accurate. But you know, the thing is, you got to plug it in. You can't take it with you, and all this garbage. And you got to constantly either have it hooked to the computer so it runs programs, or you change the wheel. Now, an example, the advantage of the zapper is just wear it and you can take it with you it's got one battery runs a lot of hours and actually this one takes the larger uh, it, it can actually take the more powerful um, what do you call it batteries which are even stronger than the spider batteries because they try to put them in the case and that is these puppies these puppies are very potent there's a uh, 200 something whatever the heck it is, reserve capacity on the Power X paintball batteries. So this thing can run a long time. And then you can recharge them. So, but I was checking the accuracy and I was saying, wow. <laughs> now the one I got coming is um, another one which is even more accurate. But this thing's, this thing's dead on. You know, from what I could tell, <laughs> it's probably more accurate than the scope is. But I know the scope has been calibrated. And it'll tell me within 1%, but I'm looking at these other zappers. Like if I put the spooky generator on here, and I said 727, it's it's 727. You know, that's what it says. The generator's pretty damn accurate, but, you know, most zappers are not. But this particular brand of zappers is. Now, the one I'm getting is a uh, my, it's called MY, many zappers in one. It's actually crystal controlled, and it even out... It's more accurate than some of the um, frequency generators on the market. You know, the big things you got to plug in the wall and all that stuff. So, eh, well, let me just put it to you this way. That's a very, very, very important consideration. So, well, let me show you what actually 727 says on the frequency list. Mr. Putin the cat, he's coming walking by here. Uh, let's step on things. But anyway, um, I wanted to, uh, this is like right off the consolidated uh, annotated frequency list 
Now, I know that he's got a lot of frequencies on there. It gets confusing, but a lot of people stick with some of the tried and true ones like 465s, um, 727, 787, 800, 880, which is one of the rife modes in here has four of those frequencies. But like, for instance, this is all the stuff listed under 727. I highlighted it. So, yeah. <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? That's why, you know, maybe it doesn't do all this, but it's been found to be so useful for so many different things that that's why they use it. So it has, like, one of these modes, it has 727, um, 787, 800, 880, and, you know, guess what? That's why they use that in a lot of rife. Well, I guess it's not true right for to call it with the radio waves, but I mean, they, they use that label today with the pad type right machines, but most zappers are not accurate enough. So if you go a little bit off of this, it's like you're, well, 728 is a very good one too, but it's like it goes into totally different stuff. I mean, it goes into totally different things. So, you know, you got to be accurate with the frequencies, and that's most zappers, they're not. They're not. See, these are microprocessor controlled, and uh, the MyZapper is actually microprocessor crystal controlled. Very accurate. So, you know, and so you know, you're wondering why some people have different, you know, some people say, oh, that worked for me, and it didn't work for me. Well, it worked this way for me. That's where all the confusion comes in. It's that's part of the reason. That's part of the reason. Not only is the human body complicated, and the human body. Also, you know, different people react differently to different things. There's a lot of different complications why something may or may not work for people. But if the frequency is not accurate on a device you're using, well, that's the whole problem right there. So, just want to point that out for zappers. This power zappers that makes the most accurate um, zappers on the market, period. Especially the my zapper, which is crystal controlled and probably more accurate than many of the full-size frequency generators that you can't lug around and it runs on one battery so and I just want to show this because that's a little bit more education on this topic because not to lead people astray but to give them the absolute you know what's going on right 